All right, welcome back to another video, guys. All right, yeah, so I'm talking about Baby Driver today, and I know it came out 2017, but I watched it, like, two days ago, and this is a bad movie, in my opinion. Uh, So, yeah, Baby Driver is about a getaway driver that is seeking a life of freedom from the crime life with his girlfriend. That's basically it. And now the reason he is in a life of crime in the first place is because he stole uh, this character, Kingpin Doc. He stole his car, his Mercedes, and he's doing a number of jobs to repay it off as a debt, and then he should be stop free. And yeah, so that's a simple enough, like, you know, story or uh, bad story, reason, whatever. I'm fine with that, cool, whatever. But the issue the movie runs into early on in the story is that after the first job of the, uh, of the first movie, like after the first job shown in the movie at the beginning, he goes to this diner and he meets this girl named uh, Deborah. She's a waitress at the diner, by the way. And they strike up like a, conversation instantly and they're instantly interested in each other like right off the bat like crazy and that just does not make sense to me because it's so like unrealistic and it took me out of the movie right then and there and i was also like wondering if this is if she was going to turn out to be like an informant character and looking back that might have been a better option because it just did not make sense like it did not line up how they met and how they were like relating with each other. Anyway, so yeah, he gets called up for one more job and it kind of goes south, but he still is able to deliver the money and he should have paid off his debt by now. And uh, he goes back to working like a regular job, but um, the kingpin doc comes back and he does, it turns out he does not care at all about the debt and he threatens Deborah and his foster father, Joseph, to force a baby to come work for him again. Uh, as a driver for like one more job or something and yeah on the other hand I'll, one thing i'll give this movie like props is that the action scenes the chase scenes everything was like done wonderfully well like the action scenes in the movie seen as it is an action movie it was done well i really enjoyed the chase scenes and uh it's very satisfying to see like the, the driving scenes and stuff like that but like that's about it and yeah so fast forward a little bit jamie foster's character is named bats and he does not trust Baby at all. He just does not like the character at all. But uh, they attempt another job, and Baby has a no killing rule, right? So when, you know, Jamie uh, Bats kills a character, kills somebody, and when Baby's supposed to drive them all out of there, like two other people in the car, um, he just does not drive at all because he's so angry at the fact that Bats killed somebody. And he drives into a rebar, which kills bat and to be honest i was not expecting this because normally i don't know it's not every time you actually see a character get killed like that in that scenario in my opinion from all the action movies that i've watched that just did not seem likely so that was actually very surprising and i'm glad that he did that because this character was so annoying it's crazy so um yeah so then from here on the story turns into this whole mess that like, impacts everybody's lives and it just all falls apart long story short after a bunch of running from the cops he meets deborah in a diner and they drive for a while, and only for uh, baby to surrender to the cops when they have him cornered. And so that whole thing was basically for nothing. And another thing I hated was just this like, how like how in the world is one waitress so willing to go off with like a cr criminal driver and literally run away from a whole city or town or whatever? Like after meeting him one day and then spending a couple weeks or whatever like dating or whatever it just did not make sense that's so unrealistic i would definitely have preferred if she was like an informant or anything else not that so yeah this movie does some sort of a time skip and then during his trial random civilians from the heist so a bank teller um some random person that he stole a car from they all testify in his defense so yeah you, you heard that right they testify in his defense this is another point that took me out of the film because nobody is defending that guy at least from the audience perspective we know his backstory we can understand that like he was forced to do one more job right we can have a little bit of like uh you know we can wait a little bit but from the perspective of the civilians that were directly affected by his actions they did not know his bad story so they can't possibly defend the guy for anything because to their perspective all he is is like a robber criminal driver that's it literally additionally baby checked his father into a retirement home with heist money so and they're not gonna like wonder how one man who was in a wheelchair by the way had a bunch of money alone on the front doorstep of a retirement home i don't know how they did not implicate they just did not line up at all they didn't you know later on in the movie he's basically the father is like implied to be doing well in the retirement home so that didn't really made sense to me and then so yeah a lot of things 
did not add up in this movie. And maybe you can justify that, seeing as it is an action movie. And action movies don't really have to be written that well. But, like, there were still too many flaws, in my opinion, that just made it worse. And uh, on top of that, all the actors felt underutilized. John Hamm, for crying out loud, who was in Black Mirror, and I heard that Mad Men was good. And he won, like, an award for acting or something. So, John Hamm, that was very surprising, because he felt really underutilized slash kind of bad. And also the main character acting was kind of bad in my opinion, sorry. And um, Aza Gonzalez was like cringy because she was playing like a generic girlfriend heist, like supporting character. And it's just generic, it's annoying at that point. Jamie Foxx was like decent because it's, it's really all this character to be honest, because that character had no business being that annoying in all of cinema. And um, yeah, that's that's basically it, yeah.